Hello everyone. Right, so I made this lab um, to show everyone, or I can say, you know, I just wanted to share some knowledge while I have uh, uh, thought that it should be beneficial to all the network engineers, um, especially who have just started their career in the networking, or maybe, you know, who have got experience, but this is something um, very interesting and good to know if you're troubleshooting networks. It's very basic, but it's very interesting as well. Right. So I'm thinking to make a series of videos about different troubleshooting scenarios. So I'll just, I've just started with the easy one here. Um, in this one, I will talk about mainly about asymmetric routing and um, different scenarios about asymmetric routing, basically, you know. Uh, like um, uh, I will start you know, pinging from one end to another, making asymmetric routing and show you if ping works. So that means if ICMP supports asymmetric routing or not, then I will do uh, as such connection using a router. Um, and then we will see if asymmetric routing supports there. And finally, my, what my plan is to add firewall in between um, to check if the firewall supports asymmetric routing because firewall is stateful and uh, all the routers we have is stateless so they will be very interesting to see what's gonna happen right so quickly I'm just gonna show you what, what my lab looks like I've created this lab in EVNG uh, by the way I've just recently installed EVNG um, which I face a lot of problems installing. So in case anyone got any problems installing EVNG, you can drop comment and I will try my best to um, help you guys. Right. So simple lab. Um, I have these two Linux hosts. Um, I've used Ubuntu in this case. Um, I've got these three routers. I keep saying routers, but it should be router. Right. So Initially, um, I've already done the configuration, which I will show you, but I will just tell you um, just the high level thing, which I'll be showing you. Um, this is the Ubuntu box, um, which I will be pinging from, and I will ping this guy. So the way I in pin traffic flow, it this will hit this router, then there is a default route to this guy, then it goes back here to the routing table which I'll show you. However, the return packet is not following the same route. And as we know, when the return packet follows the same route, we call it symmetric routing. So the return packet goes like this. And we'll see if that works or not in, in case of ICMP. So this is, guys, this is called asymmetric routing where you see a connection from one end, but the connection going out is going to a different end. Ideally, you should just follow the same path. Uh, that's why it's called symmetric. Right, okay, so let's get started, right? Um, so let's jump on this machine, Linux 20. So let me go on my lab, um, which is here. Um, I was playing with a different lab here. So I'm just going to move aside so that we can focus on this lab. Right, so let's jump on Linux 20 machine. I think I've already had open somewhere, which is here. Okay, as you can see, I'll just clear this one. I was already playing with it. So um, what we'll do is I will ping this guy. Linux 20, 202. Let's see what happens. 10.10.202. Right, now you see that I'm getting successful ping reply back. So it's going ICMP echo, and then we're getting ICMP reply. So um, just to show you guys that how this flow is going, uh, what I will simply do is, is I will jump on this router R15 and um, I will go in config mode interface 
I'll just go on the interface E03. And let's see where the pings are going. Um, you see the pings are going, keep going. Right, that's good. What we'll do is I will shut down this interface, this one over here, and we will see what happens. Shut. Now you see the pings they have stopped, right? So this is just to show you guys that the connection was going from here to R17, uh, just to show you as well the R17, um, the routing table of R17, how it works. Basically, this is just to prove uh, that my setup is correct. Uh, in, <laughs> in case anyone is doubting that, uh, oh, are you sure? Is are you sure that it's not going this way instead of that way? So yeah, let me show you the route. So we were pinging from this guy to 10.10.202. .10 .202. Um, as you see, this will take the top part and the desktop is 10.10.3, 30.3, so yeah. Um, yeah, the connection was going this way. Right, so uh, guys, this is the first video uh, which has actually showed that ping doesn't really care about asymmetric routing. As long as it has roots, yeah, it will, you will get the reply back. Um, I'll be showing um, the same thing for SSH in the next video. Oh, maybe I can show this in the same video. Um, yeah, why not? Let's show the same thing in the same video because just for the small thing, I don't want to make another video. Right, okay. Um, so, can you ping? No, you can't. So let me jump on R15 and see what happens. So, I will do, what's the command? No shut. Oop, look at that, ping has started. Okay, um, so now you have seen that the request, uh, the flow of traffic, um, which I've showed. Guys, if I'm going fast, we can just put some comments um, and just give me a feedback about my videos uh, in case if I'm going very fast, so that in the next video I'll be a bit slow uh, when I will show you um, when I will add a firewall in between, um, and I'll do some more interesting things. So, what we're we doing? Yeah, let's check SSH as well. So, I'm sitting on Linux 20. This is Linux 20 box, and I will do an SSH. So, SSH space E, so that's a username. 10.10.202. Hmm. So you can SSH as well. I put the password and you're in that machine. Yeah, I've named that as Gyan. That's my name. So what we can see is that SSH works too for the same flow. So in this video, what I've learned, what we have learned, that um, both ping and SSH supports asymmetric routing if there is no firewall involved remember if there is no firewall involved in the next video i uh, will add a firewall in between somewhere and then we can see what happens both in ping as well as as such so thanks for watching this video guys uh, leave me some comments if you if you think that if you want me to make videos in different ways or a bit slow or you want me to explain things a bit more you can put things in comment and yeah i will make more videos um so yeah thanks a lot and uh, i will see you guys in the next video